Matt from Brisbane Guppy Keeper. Um, I keep and raise guppy, and um, mainly I just import the guppy from Thailand and then bring it to Australia and then breed them. Some of them I sell them, and some of them I keep them as my collection. So I guess if you can just take us around okay. and we'll take a look at all the fish. Alright, let's start on the first tank here. Yeah. This is the koi platinum double ear. Yeah. You can see that they have like platinum, big ear. Big, mm -hmm. The ear needs to be blue. So this is what I have. Yeah. Yeah, those are super nice. Yeah. So do you get many babies out of these ones? Yeah, there'll be a lot of babies as well. And then um, I put them together. Yeah. Alright. So um this is the pony lavender. Yeah. Or whatever lavender pony. I, um they're at the back now, they're behind. You see that? Yeah. I'm moving that to the point for you. You see this boy? Yeah. They're really yeah. unique sort of guppy, aren't they? Yeah, the body is kinda, you know, like pur kinda like purple blue. Yeah. And let's move it to the sun now, you see? And the tail is yellow. Yeah. Big, super high, nice. I mean like the high also. Yeah. Pretty cool. And this is another rare strand. Um, you see, it's the albino uh, red tuxedo white here. And yeah. I yeah, imported like two months ago, and they're still not getting a lot of baby out of them. Yeah, so how many uh, do you usually import of a certain strain? Um, I do like eight or nine strain each time, but yeah. I, before I only do like three pairs, mm -hmm. and now I try to you know double it up to be like five or six pairs just to make sure that I could get you know like a lot of baby out there yeah. to do the number. Yeah. Um, this one just um the baby Albanian koi, so it's still too young. The colors start enhancing. Yeah. So how old are these guys? Um, this one is less than a month. They're going to be one month next week. Yeah. yeah sometime. So what do you feed your I fry? I feed them um, the beaver fry shrimp. Yeah. Yeah, they, that's it, the best one. And then don't forget the dry food as well is also important for the fish. Yeah. Yeah. So how long should it really take for them to get mature? I think probably another one and a half months. I would recommend if you want to breed um, guppy, you should um, start breeding them when they about three months old otherwise yeah. you'll be too young and then you don't get the quality of the fries yeah yeah so so this one is nearly a month yeah they're really starting to get the their, to, starting uh, to get their color yeah all right so what are these guys this guy is Tiger King Cobra. Yeah, yeah. And um, this one, I don't think you see it. That so often. these guys might be a short body strain. Yeah, I think so because um, I noticed that the body getting smaller. Yeah. Compared to the parents, and then um, I just need to you know keep breeding them and see if I could develop or improve them to be the short body version. Yeah. Yeah. So they're pretty cool. Look at that. Yeah, super nice. So these guys are obviously the males here, yeah. and the females, they still got really nice colours too, don't they? Mm -hmm. And also the pattern of their tails as well. Yeah, they're super yeah. unique. And this these is ones. one of my favourite as well. Just these the are classic massive. Santa Claus. Yeah. Yeah. So the big one is the importing pair. I lost all the male. Oh, and nice. I just, you know, I have all the female and um, I have some baby. So the, the baby is growing now, so they're just two months old. And yeah, they're pretty big, big body. So, um, are these a common strain or? I think it's pretty. Yeah, and um, some of the, you know, like the, the ears, they cut out. 
white. Yeah. So I think it's very interesting. Yeah. For this one. Yeah. All right. So we'll move on down here. So this one is my metal pink. Yeah. Albino, um, albino metal pink. You see They're this one? So this is the nice. baby. And this is um free grown now. That's so nice. Yeah. So the tail is pink. I think it's very rare. Not yeah. many people in Australia has it. And I start selling some of them, but not a lot. I only limited um one pair per. I think two pair per person. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, well, cool. I think the pink pink colors in guppies yeah. is just super nice, and it's not really like a color that you get in most fish too. Yeah. Can you see the color clear? Yeah, it looks really nice in this light. Yeah, and then um the little boy there, they just you know like two nearly two months. Yeah. And um yeah, we just need to check the pattern, and then after that, I will be able to sell them. Yeah. yeah. So they're very cool. So they're a really nice rare strain. Yeah. And these, oh my god, they're hiding. <laughs> I called it um, a polar bear. <laughs> yeah. Um, actually, they're full white. Yeah, the males oh. are so nice. Can you see it now? Yeah. Um, this is the full platinum, but it's just like the black eye one, like the normal one. Mm hmm. Yeah. The females are really nice too. Yes, the female is so big. And, um,. I don't know why it's another female. Hopefully she doesn't jump out. Because yesterday, yeah. it jumped out. Did and it? And it's just dry. Completely <laughs> dry, but the tummy is still like soft. Yeah. So I put it back to um, her bucket. Yeah. Because I separate her in there. But this is what happened. She's to survive. She wow. dry, right? I put her back in there and then her body start moving. Wow. So when um, you notice that your fish jump out, the first thing you probably need to do First, it's just try to put it back to the water to yeah. see, you know, if she still survive. Yeah. Yeah, but that one I'm lucky that she still survive. Yeah, they're so super now, hardy. Yeah. Um, this one is my unicorn guppy. Yes. Um, they have like the purple platinum kind of thing on the body. Yeah, like I mean, fades into orange. Yes, and then look at this one. This one probably clearer. This one. Oh, there. This one. This one. Oops. And they have the high. Oh, that one's so nice. Also thin. It's fast. Yeah. Come on, boy. There. Red tail, big fin at the top, and dumbo ear. That's it the characteristic of it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, those are super nice. I never really seen those colours as well together on a guppy. Yeah. So it's very unique, I think. And you got heaps of them too. There's a massive yeah, one made the number now because I want to bring the price of this one down. Yeah. And I think you know it's a cool fish. Everyone should be able to you know have them yeah they are really yeah, cool. they're very cute and this is my metal snake skin oh, yellow lens wow. you see this one i'm not sure if it, you can see the yellow one in there where about the yellow one i mean like this is in your video is this oh yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> look at the tail it's very big yeah and then the body they have like um the metal pattern snake skin pattern yeah this guy He's even got a little bit of orange on him. Yes. So this is pretty cool. Yeah, they're super nice strain as well. Yeah, it's very tough. I mean, like strong. Yeah. So um, give a lot of fry. But mm -hmm. because I put them in the colony, I mean, in the colony, I don't really get a lot. Of oh, yes. Yeah. It's just eat them all. So how do you know when the female's ready to pull out, generally? Um, you can see the dark spot. I don't know what to call it. Just Look near the abdomen? One. Yes. This one. Yeah. You see it? So she's there probably got fry at the moment? Yeah, she has a bit. Even this one. The yeah. body is, you know, kind of big and then, you know, like at the, at the end of the tummy, it's going to be black. Yeah. It indicates that it has a baby. And then when the bottom part of the the, the, the belly is flat, yeah. it looks like a box shape. So be ready. So it's then, birth. do you pull them out when they have fry? Or? Um, for this one, I didn't, but certain strain, I put it out. Yeah. And you can notice as well that they normally isolate themselves. You know, yeah. They don't want yeah. to be part of the group. In that case, they're going to give birth very soon. Yeah. These her fries. Yeah. So what are these guys down here? Um, these that one ones? is the albino full range. Yeah. Yeah. So, so how old are these? That one is. They're going to turn one month on the twelfth. 
Oh, yeah. Next week, it's going to be one month. So these are super simple fry raising yeah, little things. All you have is a little aerator and your fish pretty much. Yeah. And then um, if you're breeding a lot of them, make sure that you label them so you know what it is. Oh, yes. And you know, like you can track them with the date, mm -hmm. you know, when it's born and then when it's going to turn. Um, this one is the Arbino Red Tuxedo. So yep. I just get only, you know, like one big batch out there. After so, them for three months. Ha is this from one female or yeah, from this multiple? From one female. Both of them? Yes. Wow. Uh, and then some of them are red tiger more so red. Yeah, so how many do you find do die out of a batch? And on the body, um, the new one, yeah. and yeah. the more sick tail. Normally, you have four five of them. Pretty mm -hmm. rare. But if it's a big batch, yeah. so we're yeah, yeah, pretty square. Because, because you normally five, see the yellow stair. Yeah. Some of them are going to be red. Yeah. yeah. And um, this is my favorite. These as guys well. are so nice. Um, They go back less. Look at that. This is a big. This big but, male. Yeah, the big male. The important pair. Wow. So, where do you import all your pairs from? Um, most of my guppy are from Thailand. Yeah. Yeah, I know a lot of well known you know, breeder there. Yeah. And um, yeah, I just select from there. Yeah. Who's good, you know, like some 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 breeder only good at certain strands, so we just need to follow that. Yeah. And yeah, look at that. Yeah, these ones are so nice, especially in the sunlight. Yeah. Wow. And the female is very big as well. Yeah. I just like um the big body of guppy. Yeah. 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 If it's slim, you know, there will be some type that are pretty slim, but I'm I'm not a big fan of that one. Yeah, the big body definitely makes them yeah. look really nice. Yeah. I also love these really long top fins. It's very cute. Yeah. And the nice dumber ears too. So what's in these? Anything? Um, this this one is green water. But, but, um, like, um, it's more about how you make up in the green water. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. this is my navy dragon. Oh wow. Center claws in the sun. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. so these cool. ones, they have that super nice. purple and oh, yellow yeah. on them too. So how many are in this? Um, There's three female. I'm still working on it. Yeah. And then this is the one. This is the you know like the father. Yeah. So I try to you know like create a new one. So what do you think the best like ratio I guess for male to females is? Um, for me for breeding one on one. All right. Yeah. For yeah. me, but because this one I want the baby to be like this guy. Yeah. So I only select one male, the best oh, male yeah. I want, and then I put different type of female in there. Yeah. And then when you get the first generation of that batch, you mm -hmm. just pick the best one. You know, like the one that yep, you really yep. like, and then you just lie with them. Yeah. So this is very cool. So, how many do you find look like the father? Is it like a lot of the fry? Um, the first batch will be not really much like the father, but yep. you need to wait for the F two, the citizen mm -hmm. one. So, in that case, you will get you know a lot that look alike. The yeah, father. yeah, yeah. So, and then this one, my. I just take this out first. This is some baby in there. Oh yeah. Yeah. So, so how is, old are those babies? This is probably like two or three days. Oh yeah. Separate them. That's tiny. Very really little. Can you yeah. See in there? Yeah. So do they eat the whatever's growing in the green water, or do you still feed them? I'm still feed. I feed yeah. them. Um, but the green water is pretty good for the fry. Yeah. yeah. So how do you make the water go green? Um, basically you just leave it in the sun. But don't yep. forget, if you leave it only in the sun. Nothing gonna happen. They need to have food. In oh, this yeah. case, the guppy food. So, so you just go feed rest, them pretty that's much. Right. And um oh there's another baby there. Oh yeah. You see it? So I'm gonna take it out. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, hang on. Don't lose him. <laughs> oh, it's gone now. Alright, I'll pick it up later. There's a baby in there. Somewhere. Right there somewhere. Hiding. <laughs> All right, but this one is the Abino Sherry. Oh wow! Yeah. So this is a pretty small male. Yeah. Um. This I lost the I lost the breeding pair. So oh this yeah. Is, it, this is just you know like their first batch they get. Yeah. I only get two males and two or three females. Yeah, they're really nice. Yeah, super yeah. vibrant. So, do you feed your guppies color enhancer or anything, or are they just? No, they're just you know like. Whatever you know, yep. I have. It's just normal guppy food. And so they're just really damaged. vibrant. Yeah, and these are the female. The yeah, the females are pretty nice. They kind of look like a blonde. 
Yeah, very similar to um, full red. A bit yeah. of full red, but they the color at the tail is a bit, you know, like kind of pink. Yeah, they got a, that's really nice it? pink on that yeah. one. And so. they're pretty big, so do you reckon those have fry as well? Yeah, because I think the baby is out of some of them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I get a few baby in there, but I, need, I just leave them in there. Sometimes they survive and then they grow very fast in the green water. Yeah. Um, it's like this guy, I think they're not even a month. They're the same. Oh, I'm not sure where they are. I'll put you the other side. Uh -huh. I think they just turned one month. Let's see if you can see any of them. Yeah. Oh, so they're pretty big for one month. Yeah. This is one month in green water. So how much? Look at that. Yeah, they're awesome. How often do you usually feed them? I feed them twice a day. Yep. But um, still, you know, baby brush shrimp is the most important one for them. Yeah. And I still feed them with other you know, live food, like yep. Daphnia. Oh, yeah, Daphnia. Yeah. So, do you culture your Daphnia? Yes, I do. Do you just culture it in green water? Um, yes, right. I do it in green water. Yeah. I normally use this water yep. to feed my Daphnia. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And then after a day or two, you can see the water turn clear. Yeah. Yeah. Because they eat them all. And this is my super duper. Oh, yeah. yes. So these ones. The oh, wow. Yeah. I didn't get the baby. The fins on it. Look at this. The Whoa. Boy. They're crazy. Yeah. I've never seen a guppy like that. So I'm waiting for the baby. I call it super duper. Basically, yeah. they're just magenta. Wow. The Dumbo ears on those yeah. are crazy. You can see that. Yeah. It looks like a Very bird. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> they put fries like that. wings. Um, the female, I don't know when she is. She's very big. Yeah. Hopefully, she's giving birth very soon. She's there. Oh, she's even got the nice yeah. fins too. Yeah, she's massive. Hopefully, you get a bunch of fry from that. Yeah. I've been waiting for it. <laughs> and this is the. Yeah. So, what sort of plant is this? Um, this is a duckweed. Go ahead and put it in here. Oh, this one. This one? Yeah. I don't know what is this called. It's like the, that one. Which one? Do you see that one that's hanging? Oh, oh like yes, yeah. yes, and yes. I just put it in the water. And it but grows. It's growing. Look at the root is coming out. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. But it should be, what do you call it? Is it submerged? Like half of them need to be outside the water. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then, what's this one here? This like, um, this really. One, someone calls like money koi clam or something. I don't know what it is. Yeah. Called. I just remember when I was a kid that. In Thailand, we have a lot of them, and then we normally put it in um, in the fish pond or yep. fish tank, and then they grow very well. But they don't like to be underwater. You can see that. Yeah. So yeah, they're really nice. They got awesome leaves on yeah. them. Yeah. And this one, I don't know what it's called. Is it is? Oh yes. Yeah. So it's in the sun, so it's pretty dry. Now. Yeah, that's really nice. That's very good. Yeah. All right. And so this what is the female? This is the what called breeding pair. Oh albino, wow! The albino pink tail. They're so nice. Yeah, they look very pink. Yes, the, she's male. massive. Jeez. Yeah, this is the breeding pair, very big. So, do the females always get a lot bigger than the males? That's correct. So, um, when you're breeding them, right, you just have to one get getting too big. Yeah. You need to change the new female. Oh yes. Because they're just too big, and then it's just hard for the male to mating them. Yeah. Yeah. So this is all the female. I just put a female with the father. Yeah. At least you know, like they're like breeding it, and then mm -hmm. you get the same. What do you call like the same lines out them? Yeah, I love these females' tails. They're yeah. awesome. Like the blue. Yeah. You right. need to remember the true female of each strain. Though. Yeah. Some of them look very similar, but um, you just need to remember the the shape of the tail and the color of the tail, so you pick the right female to breed with um, the male. Yeah. Otherwise, you don't get the same result. So, are these little ones babies that you yeah. spawned? That's it. That's right. So, how the old are these guys? I think um, there will be two size in there. Yeah. This is the mother, and this is three months old. Oh yeah. And this is, I think, is. Probably just turning three months. Oh wow! Yeah, two months something. This guy. Yeah. And there will be the small one there, just like younger. Yeah. Probably this a month old that one. I didn't get a lot of baby out of that female. Yeah. 
Yeah. And this is just another female. Oh wow. Another another female, another baby. Is this from one spawn? Yeah, just one of the big what? one that you just you know caught it out. Can we bring it out to the sun? Yeah, sure. The camera's just there's so many in there. Yeah. Let's just go down there. Wow. How many is that? That's gotta be I would say 15, 16. That's so many. Yeah. And all of them look pretty good too. There's no bent spines or anything. Yeah, at this stage. And then um, when it's turning one month, you just try to put them in, you know, like a tank like this. Yep. And try to check in, you know, like their chips and everything. Yeah. And then just try to curl something out. The bad one out. Yeah. yeah. They're super, there's so many and in they're there. They're very healthy as well. I'm so happy that I can collect more baby out of them. Yeah, that's crazy how many there is. Wow. Ooh. It's just not brush one. Yeah. I should feed them when you're filming them. Yeah, we can do that later. Yeah. Because so what's can... down here? Um, this is my project. I tried to create the gold, the gold dragon. Yeah. And this is the first generation. That basically turning to be another version of full gold. I could, let's see if you could see them. Yeah. So is there parents in here with these babies? Um, no. This is just the first generation. Oh yeah. And then the baby is the second generation of the same mother. Yeah. Look at that. Oh wow. Yeah, they're super nice. Yeah. So I just want to see how how it's gonna be. This is the female. Yeah. So um. Yeah, they do look like the full girl. Yeah, because the father is the full girl. Yeah. And the mother is dragon. But when you're talking about dragon guppy, we're more focusing on like the pattern. Yeah. The you know like the, the detail in the body. Yeah. So I just want to see if within this batch mixed with each other, mm -hmm. and then what is the result of that baby? That's what I need to investigate. So how I many of the bigger ones do you have? I only get six. Oh yeah. Yeah. And then. So I just want to see you know, and the baby. You see this baby. Yeah. It's just coming out of the previous, I mean, the other parents. Oh, but yes. But this baby is more important for me than yeah. the first generation. Because you will see um, what we call like the result of the second batch mm -hmm. will be more various. Can I say that? Yeah. You get different color. Yeah. Different color. Different colors. Different. Yeah. A more variety of colors. That's right. That's correct. So that's another project and see. Yeah. I can go. So is that all on this rack? Yeah, this is all for this rack and I have a few over there. So yep, we just we'll go look at them. So this is just my the mixed guppy tank. Yeah, these are awesome. Yeah, so so these are just culls. Yeah, and then I put them all together there. I don't want to shuck them. Yeah. And um, yeah, just chuck it in here. So do you sell these ones to shops and stuff? Um, I sell these as well, yeah. And, um, but I don't, for example, like if it's like this, I probably keep it for myself. Yeah. See the tail there's a problem. Or even if it's too skinny, the body shape is not right, yeah. I won't sell those. But um when I'm selling the mixed guppy it's still like that. Yeah. It's just it need to be beautiful. So you like yeah. you like the ones like with the really nice long yeah. tails and the That's really right. nice colours. Wow, they look so good in the sun. Yeah. They're awesome. Yeah, I can afford them. Oh, awesome. So it's just baby Ryan? Yeah. And yeah. when you're feeding them, you see. And again, when you go to buy guppy, right? Yeah. From the breeder, it's better to ask them to feed the guppy. Yeah. And then um, you can see that they open all the fin. And you will see the body shape, how active they are. Yeah. Yeah. So, so when, you want the dorsal fin to be up, right? Yeah, so when you want to make sure that um, the dorsal fin is going to be up like that. It indicates that the fish is healthy. Yeah. But if the dorsal fin stick together, mm -hmm. they're not open up even though they're eating the food. So it indicates that the fish are not okay. Yeah, that's actually a really yeah. good point. Yeah, so when you go to a local breeder, you just you know, ask them, can you feed the fish? Yeah. And you will see you know, how active they are. Yeah, those guys are so nice. Yeah. And um, so let's go to this one. Yeah. These are awesome too. Are these the yeah, this is platinum, platinum. red-tailed dumbbell ears? That's right. Yes. 
so the jumbo ear. So these ones look really nice when you groom them too, don't they? Yeah. So, um, yeah. Go, can you go through the process of grooming them? Like, what do you generally do to... If you're grooming them, you just, yeah. you know, like, make sure that you minimize the... How to, what should I say? Do not put them in a big group. Yeah. For example, like this one, two feet tank, and you probably have, like, ten guppy in there. Yeah. I think it's too big for them, right? But yeah. it's big enough for them to, you know, develop their body, yeah. you know. So these guys are being groomed at the moment? Yeah. So I separate them into two. Yep. So this is the one that I'm selling them. So mm -hmm. I just put them together there, grooming them. They get the right shape of the body. They're getting bigger compared to, you know, like a week, two weeks ago. Yeah. And yeah, yeah I really so love the pink. Like, yeah, like you keep yeah. really nice. So I normally separate... So for grooming them, you could also use like a really big tub, couldn't you? Yes, you can also use the tub as well. For yeah. example, like I'll show you later over there. Yeah. Yeah, I grooming... When the customer order online, mm -hmm. I normally separate the fish. They select it. You know, like via the video I sent to them, yeah, yeah, and then I separate on the side and grooming them to make sure that the customer is going to get um, the quality guppy. Yeah. So, these guys, how long do you reckon they will take to get that pretty, really nice? Um, they're pretty cool now. Yeah. You're just waiting for the platinum dumbo. Yeah, you're just waiting for platinum. Platinum is the last thing that you know, like yeah, they Yeah. Yeah. So I would say all these pretty ready to go. Mm -hmm. I think they. Good now. So how many liters would you say this tank is? How many liter? Yeah. Um, sixty. Sixty? I think sixty. I guess yeah. it's two feet. That's what I remember, yeah. what I know. And I get probably sixty liter. And you just use this Kmart filter? Yeah, this is just the Kmart filter. Oh, yeah. I didn't use the big one because I normally change the water regularly. Yeah. So do you? I use the small one because one safe cost. I didn't use it somewhere else. Yeah. And the other one is I noticed that that be like the water movement. Yeah. And um, make them active. So, so you like? Bit, yeah. Do you like sponge filters as well? I do like sponge filter. Yeah. And um, at the moment, the tank is in different location, so it's a little bit hard to, you know, set it up. Yeah. But I have the next plan that I'm gonna get a very big generator of the air pump and then yep. start, you know, doing it with the sponge filter. Yeah, I think yeah. sponge filters are just a really good yep. filtration option. They're so cheap too. Yeah. They're so, like six bucks. And yeah, that's what I have to change because the stone one, because the stone air pump, right? Mm. It's not. I just found out that it's not good because it just makes the water not clear. Yeah. It just, you know, stir the. Yeah, it just stirs it up. Food and everything out there. Yeah. So this is my platinum tambo ear. Yeah. Platinum red tie tambo ear. That's so nice. Yeah. And <laughs> this is what I get from the um, Albino Fool. White. I only have one baby left. So how? She only gave birth three. Oh wow! I only have one left. How old is this guy? I think the fifteen. I think they are going to be one month on the fifteen. Yeah. Of March, probably in two weeks time. So you do find that it's really beneficial to put them in bigger spaces when they're growing up. That yes, but um, the first week of. Any baby I have, they mm -hmm. normally be in this container. Yeah. Because I want to make sure that they definitely eat all the food. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, and then, you know, like, they're lo not looking for the food. They just, you feed them, they eat them. Yeah. Yeah, so I normally place them in this container for a week. Yeah. And after that, you just move them to wherever you want. Yeah. Particularly the big uh, container. To yeah. To make sure that they grow bigger. Yeah, well, these containers here are super cheap, too. Yeah, this is just, you know, like... Yeah, they're, they're super. container in the house, and then you just check out of in juicing them. Yeah, they're really good. Yeah, there's a crack there already. And this one is the parent's unicorn. Let's see oh, if you yes. can see them. Oh, he's hiding again whenever... <laughs> that female is big. Yes, that one big female in there. And this this is the... You see? Oh, wow. That, like, dorsal fin is yeah. crazy. That's really nice colours. Yeah, this is my unicorn cup. Here. So is this also a really rare strain? Yeah, very rare. I don't think anyone has it in Australia. Oh, wow. Only those people who buy it from me. Yeah. Yeah. So for these sorts of guppies, you wouldn't sell them to shops, would you? No, not at this stage. Yeah. Yeah, but um, I still have the goal and the focus that I want to sell my guppy to the, you know, as the wholesaler. Yeah, with yeah. With like the cool strain and things mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. But it's yeah. just a dream. That's a really good idea. Yeah. And, um... That's it. This is just female dragon. Oh yeah. Um, they're all working. I just keep it on the side for my project. Yeah. To whatever I want to do. 
with um, the new strain or the, to maintain the strain. So did you breed like? Did you breed all these? Like, yeah, I breed all of them and I collect um, only female and put it in there. Yeah. And you can see that um, the dragon is always coming in different, you know, sometimes they have a weed color. I just leave it in there to see yep. if they want to do a new project. Different type of dragon yeah, color. That's right. Yeah. And this is another project. Oh, I love the these guys. Is it, um, I'm not sure if you can see the color clearly. Yeah. Is it my minty green? It's, it's alright. I it's used to um, develop this train a few months ago and then um i stopped doing it yeah and i come back to do it again many people are asking for it yeah it's a really nice yeah. train i think it probably oh yeah so i just mix them and this is just a project you might see that i put different type of female in there yeah to get more variety of the the fry and yeah i'm gonna pick the right one that i like to um, do a library. Yeah, I really love this yeah. car. So you have a bunch of snails, dude. Yeah, I think snail pretty good. Yeah. And um, I don't know why it's good, but I think it's good because yeah. whenever I have snail, the water pretty cool. Yeah, and whenever the snail is going up there, mm -hmm. the, whenever the snail is going up to like the edge of the water like that, yeah. a lot of them. Is kind of telling me that there's something wrong with the water. Oh yeah, that's what I keep, I think. Yeah. yeah, and then it's change water or you know fix up, and after that you sometimes you notice the fish behavior changing as well. Yeah, I mean that makes that makes sense. Yeah, yeah I've got blue rams on snails. I think they're really cool. Yeah, and I've got these other snails too. I don't know what they're called, but they just bury themselves in the you sand. Mean this one? Yeah, I've got these type. guys. Yeah, and then I have this other type that. I think this is they called is it bladder? Yeah, I think bladder they're bladder snail. snail. I found one the other day in my tank that was like red. I found one which is like clear. You can see it in the other tank. Oh, yeah. It's just clear. We'll take a look at it later. Yeah. So, this is just so like, what's the ratio for this? Three to five? I or four to three. three male. Yep. And then I just have like different type of female in there. So, is this female here? Yeah. So, you get this wow. female. That this female's is tail is crazy. I just want to um, create, I want to have the gene, the swallow gene. I mean, sw uh, swallow gene. Yep female right so i just mix it with them to get the gene of you know like the swallow gene yeah and my dragon in the future may come out like that yeah I that'd be, put them together, that'd be together. awesome if that works yeah so this one is just more like the project now so it's yeah. not really a hundred percent that you're going to get it like that yep. yeah still working on probably another few more months or years yeah let's see yeah um this so is what are these guys the tiger the red oh, tiger. Yes. I just separate the female because I noticed that their body is short. Yeah, that's a really you short body. Yeah. So, I, I really like the short body strength. Yeah, and I just keep it on the side and just want to see, you know, if they're going to improve to be short body. Yeah. Yeah, that too. This one here has yeah. a pretty short body too. Yeah, really they're the really nice. So these are, just, these are just females? Yeah, they're just female. They're just being fat. <laughs> <laughs> There's no male. So how many there. are there in there? Um, there are only a few. It's not like pee puff, hey, look at that. <laughs> yeah, it actually does, kind of. <laughs> yeah. So this is the baby of um, one of the things. I just chuck them in there. Yeah. But the body is pretty short. <laughs> so hopefully you get a short body strain. Yeah, I just want to see, you know, how they're going. Um, oh, this wow. This is yellow king cobra. That male is awesome. Yeah. I just take the tail, put the, what do you call The shelf. Wow. So have these guys been groomed or do they just um, get that? I don't have space, so I put them together there. Yeah. Because I used to have um, tiger yellow king copper, and then I lose the female. Oh no. So I want to bring that um, tiger strain back. So yeah. I have the king copper, so I just need to crossbreed them and then try to, you know. Get yeah, the tails on them. these guys are so yeah, nice. Really big. Especially this guy. Yeah. Wow. Well, I can, you know, put it in that thing for you later. And then yeah. Take a so do you. Uh, feed them bloodworms and black worms okay. too? Um, I'm not doing a lot of black worm yet because I used to do it and then there are a lot of left over. Oh. So, and then this, uh, and the water didn't like polluted from it. So I stopped doing it. Yeah. And it's mainly doing brine shrimp and daphnia. Yeah, I think brine shrimp are really good food too. I think the frozen blood worm is mm -hmm. pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, because it's. You know, not too big like um the black worm and then the cup you can just you know like smash yeah it. yeah so, so 
purchase them. They're so nice. Mm -hmm. So you get all these goldfish here too? Yeah, these are my goldfish. They're the wow. tire kit. He is crazy. What do you call like um, the Tyrander? That's right, Tyrander with orchid tail. I think that's... What's this called on his head again? Is it called Wen or ben? something? Yeah. Yeah. He's and it's awesome. very big, look at that. Is that butterfly tail too? Um, I think they are orchid tail. Oh, yes. But I don't know what it is. Yeah, like I love this guy. Is this guy a Ranchu? Yeah, there's a Ranchu. Wow, I he's bought so this nice. when it's like this size. Yeah. And I was getting bigger, but never be bigger than this. So are these imported or did you just get these from um, a local? I think the Oranda is imported, but yeah. this is just local from the fish shop here. Yeah. And those fish, maybe two or three of them, mm? they're from here as well. At yeah. the time, I only have whole fish inside. Oh, yeah. And then I start doing coffee and then I chase them out. Yeah. <laughs> Put them in a the pond. They're super this nice. This is just on the red. Is this one, one here? Which one? This all black? Is um, that one? Is it the same one? Oh, wow, that is one. Yeah. Oh, my. They're the same, they um the tire under. I'll keep them. Yeah. If I get wet. <laughs> so, do you just keep them in this pond? Yes, I keep them all together here. I want to do, you know, it's like I told you that I want to breed them, but yeah. I, don't I think really know how to do they it. can be hard to breed at times, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Especially these strains like this that are got that really yeah. unique body shape. And then you go to, it's pretty hard, you know, but if you go to the fish farm and have a look at these, you need to make sure that you actually ask the breeder to check the fish. Yeah. And spin them around and see. This might be weird, but you just want to see, you know, yeah. if they balance themselves. And there's another one, it's a cool one as well. Yeah, because the goldfish but, can sometimes have the problems with their swim They bladders. tell me this is the male, but I don't think it's a male. But maybe they're still too young. So, do you know how to sex them? I think you need to check... Uh, oops. In your foot. That's right. Um, you need to check the fin here. Oh, yes. Someone told me that if you're touching it, mm -hmm. there should be, you know, like some kind of dot 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 kind of thing there. Oh, yeah. And then you're feeling it, right? It's indicated that this is a male. Oh, wow. I didn't feel it on this guy. It's just a normal thing. I mean, it's just a normal thing. A smooth one. Yeah. yeah. So, so do you so think, think it's a, it's Do you a think female. most of these are females? Not those guys. I'll show you the male one. Uh, but um, I think it's definitely male. So these golf is pretty expensive too, aren't they? Yeah, the Oranda one. Yeah. Pretty expensive. But they are super nice. Yeah. So this is the one you think is a male? Yeah. If you, oh sorry, Fitch. You see that? Oh yeah. You see that kind of dot thing? Yeah. Yeah, this is a male. Oh, that's awesome. I mean, you're touching it. You can touch it if you want to. You will feel that it's not smooth. Yeah. It's have some. It's like a thorn or something. I don't yeah. know how to explain you can it, but it's not smooth. Yeah. This is super nice guy. Yeah. 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 So this is just fan show thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. It just looks yeah. like a fan tail, I'd right. say. Beautiful one. Very big. My favorite is this guy. This the little shoe, yeah. And that guy over there. He's yeah. awesome. The black and red one. Yeah. So they're very easy to look after as well. The yeah. yeah. And how often do you clean out their tank? This one, once yeah. a week. Yeah, because they can water. produce a lot of waste. Yes, can't they? but I do fully change like once a month. Yeah. But you need to make sure that the fish get used. The fish get used to with your water parameter first. Yeah. So when they first got them, particularly the tire and that one, are changing the water nearly every day to make mm -hmm. them get used to it and reduce it, you know, bit by bit. Yeah. Yeah. So what sort of filtration is that? Is that just a sponge filter or just no, the just stone? like air stone? Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Just want to make sure that there's a movement in there. Yes. Yeah. That's, and that's uh, really I cool. I don't want the fish to get used to it out it. Yeah. yeah. I just put it in there because the fish is too expensive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just keep this one because I'll tell you later. Alright. And this is my project. Um this I'll try to do the Phoenix one. I'll get the container and show you. Awesome. So this is I normally have only the yellow one and then this one is called a sunset color. Oh there's some baby you can see it. Oh wow. They're not yellow but wow. know, have a bit of red and a bit of um yellow in there. Yeah, those so are so I'll awesome. try to live breeding. And them. you got babies too? Yeah, I'll show you this one. So do they spawn in this bucket? Or did yeah. you just put them in there? I put them in there and then they have a baby. Oh wow. And I just put them together because the first batch oh. I don't really care, but I care about the second batch. Yeah, this guy's yeah. so nice. 
and the body is big yeah and then the pattern on the body is pretty clear but the tail is you know outstanding red and yeah. yellow so this is why i like them i just want to library them yeah they're awesome yeah so and then you're saying before that this is just your sick guppies yeah this is my sick guppy i chuck them in there some of them survive yeah some of them do not like so is this where you put stuff with white spot and stuff um they have the problem with rotten fin oh yes is you got a baby over here oh really yeah. where are they there's a little baby oh just my there. god they create more oh there's one too yeah so this mean um those that survive you know yeah create the baby and then I, I still feeding them, look yeah. after them. Do you use any medication or do you no, find they I just, just get better? Them. I yeah. think they get better, but um, some of them, they look very severe that you know that you won't be able to cure them. Yeah. So that's why I just put them in there. And yeah. I don't want to put them back out to the main um, the main tank. So it just need more quarantine. Oh, this wow. is my Navy mosaic. So were know. these the ones that you say you've got so many of them? Yes. And so then, they um, just breed. Yeah, so and then much. when the customer order, just separate them to groom them. Oh, yes. So they look good. They're so better. nice. Can you see it's cute? Yeah. They're awesome. Yeah. So you have a lot of males in there. Oh, there's a couple of females. Yeah, there are a lot of females as well. And um, yeah, basically, this is the fact though, I think. In winter, yeah. right, when the temperature is cool, you get a lot of male. Ah, yes. And then when it's temperature is hot, you get a lot of female. Yeah. So from the next two months, any baby that I have, they're gonna turn to be a lot of female. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, but let's see if the fact true. But yeah, this is the platinum. I just they're so nice. Yeah, they're awesome. They're big ears as well. Yeah. So. Are these guys here full gold? This is my full gold freaking tank. I love this male with the orange on his fins. Yeah. Um, because it's two gold. This guy jump over? This Oh, uh, I put in there because of, um, this is my project I told you that. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, my, what do you call it, the gold dragon. Oh, uh, So I just yes. only put the female in. Yep. So it doesn't have And you got some anything. ribbon females down there yeah, too. Yeah, um, this is just my normal full gold ribbon. So, just give birth. you were saying, I've heard you say before that the males with the ribbons can't really breed. No, you so, need to nip the thing at the bottom. Oh yes. And then, and again, you know, it's keep growing. It's like nail and hair. Yeah. yeah. So I just, you know, take it out. And then I only use normal, normal. Um, you got a baby here. Male. Yeah, the baby that's coming from the dragon. Oh, yeah, so that's just Yeah, I'm gonna dragon. separate them very soon. You have so many snail legs too along yeah. the sides. Oh, too many. <laughs> <laughs> these are pretty, these are pretty big fish. Yeah. They're very old. I think they, I get them last February, so this yep. is a year already. So this is why you know, like the male quality getting. Is it for example like this one? It's turned copper now. Yeah, I really like that gold. though. Yeah, do you know like the the older it is, the color is what we call like the more kind of red mm. is turned. Yeah, that's what I noticed. See that? Yeah, that's so yeah. nice. So what do you think is your most popular strain? Right now, yeah, is my metal pink. Ah, oh, yes, yes. And, um, I need to get some of those. They're awesome. Yeah, and the other one is the koi guppy that I just imported. Oh, yeah. I'll show you in a minute. Yeah, yeah. So that's it, my full gold. And this is my old dragon, the purple dragon one. Yeah. And the colony is collapsed, so I just need to kill them. So many females. Yeah, too many female, and then um, I sell all the male. <laughs> I only have a few male left. Just leave it in there, you know, like they're so, really nice. Yeah, though. and I cannot sell one. this one. Seem to have a potential. Yeah, I was just this looking is. at that guy. He's got like the aqua. Yeah, and then I just need to shake it later. What it's gonna be like? Yeah. Oh, pretty cool. Yeah, he's really nice. Number ear, the ear is kind of green, green body. Yeah, and there's a couple of the females with the aqua too. Yeah. So you know, whenever you breed the fish, you know, just don't just. You know, like sometimes you don't really cow them all. Yeah. Some of them might have potential that you can lie, be, breed them in July. I don't really like culling fish anyway. I just put them in a spare tank usually. Yeah, and then put it on the side. Yeah. But yeah, it's like me. I normally put them together in there. Yeah. At least someone will pick them. Or one day they're fully grown, you come back to have a look at them. They might be very, very beautiful. Yeah. And then you might take them out to lie, breed them. Yeah. So all right. this is all for this corner. 
Ist ja awesome. Ja, das ist mein Goldfish. So now, let's go check inside. Alright. So this is just um, the customer order? Yep. Yeah. So you just make that fish. So it's a bunch of mix. What are these? This orange right here? Um, it's just the red one that I killed them out and then just put them together in a big tank. Yep. And this is what um, I put in the video and the customer picked them and then separate them. Just throw them. Yep. Yeah. And then this one is my, it's like I told you I tried to get the yellow tiger king cobra oh, out yes. that bat. So I'm working on it and then you already see that some of them are tiger. They're yeah. Tiger. And so how many are in here? I think it's probably like 30, 40. Quite a lot. Yeah. Yeah. And then they're they live really in the nice. green water. I just moved them in, the green water getting fed up now. I mean like the color is not green green anymore. Yeah. Yeah, so the green water will be gone and then it's gonna be clear very soon. They're super nice. Yeah. And this is just the baby. Yeah. Of the can you see it? Yeah I can see it. You probably need to stand on here then have a look in the Right. Yeah this is the Oh one. yeah. There you go. You see this from over there? Yeah, so this is an awesome little fry raising. Yeah, but when I buy this one, right, there, we, there is the divider, you see? Oh, yeah. And I put a female in each, um, in each Oh, box. that's awesome. And then they're the same type. So yeah, that's a really good idea, actually. Just remove it, and then they're all together. So what kind are these guys? This is the metal stick skin ivory. Oh, uh, yeah. So this one is very, very beautiful, though. The tail just have like the ivory or mosaic style. Yep. The body have like metal pattern and then the snake skin bit at the front. Very the color very um, very very clear. Yeah. Um, yeah really cool. Yeah. So I was just waiting for the next few months. And then go over here. That one is my full red. A bit of full red. These are so nice. Yeah. Oh wow. And these are so this is the imported one. Yeah. Yeah. So this it's a bit different from other full red. I yeah. I don't have enough full red because of the height also. Yeah. The fin and um, the tail. Yeah, they're super nice. Yeah. This yeah. is a really good little setup too. Yeah. Which is I did use this top. Is like I told you that um, my focus is for breeding. Yep. So I don't really care, you know, whether it's going to be like a parent like that or, you know, the top is fine. Yeah. Because I I'm, just want, you know, I got the same sort of setups, like I really enjoy using the tubs. Yeah. They're just so cheap and so Yeah, and then you just you know set up your yeah. money as well and then you can buy more. Because breeding guppy with different strain, right? You use a lot of tub. Yeah. You don't want to mix them. No, you don't want to mix them yeah, up. So you? this is why you know like this helps. And you use bare bottom for most of your setups yeah, too. Yeah, that's correct. Because I wanna see how much food they didn't eat. Yeah. And then I normally clean it regularly, so I just wanna yeah. see, you know. And it's easy for me to maintain. Yeah, it's super I easy mean, to maintain. I'm not experienced in like planting, yeah. you know, that type of thing. So it's a bit hard for me if I have, you know, like plan, different type of plant in there, things like yeah. that. So I, I think like that. with fry as well, that it's really good to have them on bare bottom. Yeah. So what are these guys? This is my project. It's the, the Navy Dragon. Oh, wow. I get it from um, the guy outside that I showed yeah. before. And I only get one male. It's like I put you in summer and um, I get a lot of female. Yeah. And the little one is the second batch. That batch will be very interesting to see, you know, like the pattern and everything. And that male, the little boy I have, yeah. that one, I have a feeling that that platinum turn a little bit purple. Yeah. So I just really want to see. I'm so excited to yeah, see Yeah, that'd be awesome. What it's going to be. It's so. Be a new gen of. Um, Dragon. Yeah, if you have a really nice looking female, right? Yeah. How would you sex that? Is there any other way besides the colors? Um, the body shape. Yeah. The the male always have the the pattern. I would say the pattern on the body, right? Look at that. Yeah. But the female, they don't have the pattern on the body. Yeah. Doesn't matter what. Only half black. The body might be black. Yep. But um, you still be able to tell. You know, look at that. They don't have the pattern on the body. Yeah. They only have pattern on the tail and the also. This is a way to um, differentiate the 
male and female. Yep. And the other way is you flash the light on the body of mm -hmm. the fry. If it's not trans if it's not transparent, mm -hmm. if you cannot see anything inside, this is a male. Oh. Wow. You can try with full go. Because full go sometimes it's very difficult to identify male and female. Yeah. Because of the platinum, the gold platinum on the body. The only way that you can that help you is with shining the light yeah. on the body and you will see it. Yeah. Yeah. The male looks different from the female. That's actually really good to know. Yeah. And this is my project for um, my full go. These are the awesome. Yeah, because I want to get the dumbo here for gold. Yeah, the tails on these guys are so long too. Yeah, and that male is pretty, pretty old. It's like nearly one and a half year now. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so I just need to get the dumbo here from them. Yeah. So, you know, transfer it into the female and into the next generation. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, these are super, super nice. Um, are these fried from these guys or um, the fry from the pre um, the, the other breeding pair that I get from Thailand? Yep. Unfortunately, I lost that colony. Oh no. Parents, because they are sick from the rain. Oh yep. Yeah. Yep. So annoying. So that's um, why you moved all them into your garage that's too, right. isn't that's it? That's why I moved it inside straight away because there will be more rain coming. Yeah. And sometimes if it's rain or whatnot, I don't have time to cover them. Yeah. And oh. this is I just turned light Oh, that's awesome. Brand? No, that's awesome. Yeah. These are um, so nice. This is the platinum. Yeah, this male is so nice. Yeah. So this is the freaking pair. Yep. So is this one here a male as well? Yeah, they're all male as well, but the platinum doesn't uh, doesn't show up. Yeah. Yet. But they because of just the this tail and dorsal. Yeah. This is why I put them in there. Yeah. So to the to ones with the shorter Tails are females. Uh, that, you mean that one? Like these ones. Oh, that one, yeah, that's correct. This is a female. Yeah. And there will be some baby in there as well that I didn't take it out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that male is so nice, though. Yeah. And this is my albino. Oh, one. yeah. Yeah, they're very rare. Yeah, they are. You never see blue topaz, but you yeah. never see you know, like the purple topaz. Yeah, the purple ones are so nice. They're such a. Like, they're really. Like a clear Yeah, they kind color. of clear color and then the tail you you can see, you know, like it's a bit purple, right? Yeah, they're super nice on the black background too. Yeah. I think this is the only way that you can really see the color. Look at yeah, that. yeah. I just put my He's hand. awesome. Can you see it? Yeah. A bit too pale now. Because of my hand, look at that. Okay. He's so nice. Yeah. So have you bred these guys before? Yeah, I bred them and I only get one big batch and then I sell them Oh wow. Yeah, only the female that I have left. I sell all the male and the female, like yep. five, six pack. And yeah, I thought I was gonna get more baby, but unfortunately I didn't. Hopefully the little one, some of them turn male, because yeah. I only have one male left. Yeah, this is very important though when you breed, uh, when you're importing the guppy. You need to make sure that you collect the fry yeah. as soon as you can. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, the father, I mean like the the male probably died before the female, or the yep. female died before the male, so you just need to make sure that you get the baby straight away. Yeah. Yeah. And this is my albino pink, pink grass. Oh, wow. Unfortunately, you got this boy. Yeah, he's missing out this time. Yesterday, I changed in the water. Yep. And then it's getting to my, what do you call like the... Siphon? Yeah. Yep. And then it's break all the tail. Oh, no. And it's still survived. He's still doing all right, no? Yeah, but doesn't look that good anymore. It should grow back. Yeah, look at that. It's going to grow back, but... Yeah. Anyway, um... So how many's in here? There's only three. Yeah. Two male, one female. And I'll try to get another male out for you so you can see the color. Oh, wow. Yeah, the other king grows. Wow. I love the orange and pink guppies. I think they're my yeah. favorite colors. Basically, if you look at from the to see, they're different now. Yeah. Because the normally when you um, breed the grass guppy, they will have red and they will have blue. Yeah. Yeah. And then because of the blue and the red mix together, it so just turned this guppy to be pink. Is the grass like gene that yeah, is a, pattern, the pattern on the tail? That's correct. The pattern of the, the tail. It's got like the dotted 
sort yeah, of pattern. Yeah, kind of dot, 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 dot. Yeah. Like grass. Yeah, that's so true. So this is nice. causing this guppy to be cooking. Wow. Normally you will be either red or blue. Yeah. But because of the blend of the two color. So are these a rare strain? Um, pretty rare. In terms of like, when you try to, what we call like, make it to be a true strain. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's um, super awesome. So I put it down now. Yeah. So this is Albino in the grass. And this is just my project. Yeah, so, these are so nice. So are these males and females in here? Um, this is all. So this one is kind of. Oh, yeah. Can you see the color? Yeah. It's supposed to be a bit kind of blue. Yeah, it's got like a blue tinge. Yeah. So this is this color. But I lose the male. So, so hopefully did, I can get the baby out of them. Did you lose the male to the rain too? Yes. Oh, no. So annoying. So this is why. Yeah. So would you say these are pregnant? Yeah, but I think they're pregnant. All of them? Yeah, and then um, that's awesome. We just need to wait until when it's ready because we don't have the mail to keep to you know motivate yeah. them to keep. So you're them. gonna want to get the fry out of these guys yeah, straight maybe away. Maybe a few, but hopefully I'm in luck that I would get more um, of the baby. Yeah, yeah. So this is the baby of the pink grass. Oh yeah, so these ones up here. Yes, that's right. You got a lot of a lot of them. Looks like a lot of females too. That's right. And um, my goal is I hopefully I could get um, the albino blue grass. Oh uh, yeah. But at this stage they read true because they get the same color as the father. Yeah. I love with these sorts of guppies too how you know when other guppies get like the black mm -hmm. on their stomach, these guys get like the orangey pink. Yeah, because they I really orange. like that. Yeah. And then when they're ready to give birth, you will see kinda silver dot. Yeah. Under the tummy, this is the eyes of um, the baby. Oh wow. Yeah. Um so this is the flamingo. Yeah. This is too bright. No, that's perfect. Yeah, this is the flamingo red tail. Wow. The classic strain. But this the, male is yeah, nice. what makes this thing different is I always like the high also feel. Yeah. Yeah, so the high also fin will there's a lot of them. This one. Is that from one spawn too? That's right. That's awesome. And I just need to you know, keep breathing it. So this is the uh, metal snip skin ivory. Oh wow. Let's keep it. Look at the tail, it's quite very big. So what were these guys again? They're called metal snake skin ivory. So is the metal the pattern on their the body? The metal is look at this boy. Yeah. You see that thing in the in in the middle? I mean in the middle of the body? Yep. This is the metal. Oh, snake yeah. skin is the, the the pattern nearly the head. Around the head that this is the snake skin. Oh yeah. And the tail is just like a pattern of um, moss egg or ivory. They're awesome. Yeah. And this male here, I well. really love. The darker one. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of babies in there too. Yeah. So these, I don't think you've probably seen them. They're just the baby of the full platinum one. Oh, yeah. yeah. They start, you know, showing the color. There's a few in there. Can you see it? Oh yeah, there you go. You can see that oh, it's yeah. actually you know, having the color anymore. Yeah, so do the males generally get the color first? Yes, correct. And it's pretty easy, so you can separate them if you like with them. Yep. Because you don't want to mix them. Yeah. But this one is normally breed too, so that's why I just you know, put them together. Yeah. It's not a fancy one, but um, dragon. Oh wow, they're um, massive. If we talk about dragon, there will be a lot for you to curl because it's not breeding the true color sometimes. Oh, really? Yeah. So you have to curl a lot of these. That's right. So there's a lot of these guys in that one out there, isn't That's there? That's right. And then this is my 
public dragon. Yeah, I love this female. This is a female, right? Yeah, this is a female, but the male. I think they only have oh, two wow. male in there. That male is awesome. Yeah, this is my public dragon. Wow. He's so nice. Yeah. This female is massive. Yeah, I think she... If I get another batch out of her, I'll probably stop breaking from her. So how old she, do you reckon she I is? I think she 1.6 months old. Or oh, 1.6 years old. Oh, wow. Yeah, That's an old, old guppy. Year. And before that, this might be 4 or 5 months from the breeder, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so did you import these ones? Um, This one I didn't import it. I bought it um, from the local breeder. Yeah. But at that time, the purple dragon don't have the pattern on the body. You yeah. See? The body has the pattern, right? But um, at that time, they don't have it, and then I try to improve it, try to you know like try to redo it to make sure that my dragon will have the pattern on the body. Yeah. Just to you know, mix and match them, and then live breed them, and it turn out to be that one. They're super nice. <laughs> yeah. So what's in this tank here? Um, this tank here is my full gold. Oh yeah. Let's see. So are you grooming them in this tank? No, I'm quarantined them. Oh. It's pretty sick now and well because of the rain. Yeah. In it. Yeah. And then I noticed that we have air changing, and now I noticed that um, that problem with the fin. Yeah. So I need to do a strong medication so these, for them. Some of these are ribbon ones too. Yeah. And again, one of the fish just jump into there. It's a female, so I don't really care about it. So yeah. to jump it in there, and I don't want to separate her. I got that in the quarantine yeah. tank. So is this medication in here, or is it just green water? Um, it's medication in there. So what sort of medication do you I use? I just use, um, this is a Thai one. Yeah. Is it that one? Yeah, I use that one. I don't know what to do. I get online, and then the people say it's pretty good. Yep. But... What I notice is this one is only good for the mild condition of yeah. the guppy. If you know they their behavior is changing, just put this one in. So do you but put that in there when you first get them too? That's right. And then I put that one in there, right? Yeah. Then um, I notice that they have problem with the fin. Yeah. I need to put the different medication in. I think it's I can't remember the name, I can show you later. Yeah. It's from the blue planet. And that oh, one's yeah. pretty strong. Is it methylene yeah. blue? No, the other one. Do you one use that? In the, I use that as well. Yeah. If I not taste it. So yeah. So they're pretty active again now. You yeah, they're see. all swimming in the flow. And um, but when you look at it clearly, they have the problem with the fin, so I won't be able to sell this to anyone. Yeah. So do guppies like fast flow oh, tanks? No. Do you find or? Yeah. So yeah. Like the they're yeah, still like really the nice females. Yeah. Because you know, like think about in the river or in the creek, right? Yeah. So they're just like a, you know, not a strong one, but just you know, kind of smooth one. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why I try to make sure that the, there's a movement in the water. Yeah. Yeah. So they're pretty cool. This is just the baby, the metal snake skin baby. Oh uh, yeah. But this is all the female. Oh, so did you take the males out of yeah, this one? Yeah, I already take the male and put it in there because I want to see the color. You can see that. Um, they start showing the color. Yeah. They order. Yeah. yeah. So these more platinum um, gummies? This is yes. This is the other set. I'll keep this one as the breeding as a spare. Yep. Just in case I need to do the amount of the yeah. colony, so I put it in there. That's super nice. And yesterday I found out um, they give me birth. Oh, are they? I'm pretty fine the baby now. <laughs> so I think that they need to <laughs> Do you need light out there? No, that's alright. Okay. So, are most of these females pregnant too? Yes, they're pregnant. So, are you just going to leave them in or are you going to take them out? What do you mean, like? Like, take them out to give birth? Um, at this stage, you know, because it's only first batch. Oh, yeah. So, just whatever survive. Mm -hmm. And this is working on strength. I have snake skin red ivory. Oh, yeah. But um, I try to do just the ivory, the red ivory. So, look at, at this boy. I move it. Also this guy here? Yeah, to see the point. Yeah. They don't have snake skin pattern. He's really nice and red though. Yeah, just pretty cool. Yeah. They only have the general you know, like ivory pattern. Yeah. And then it's red. And then there's no snake skin pattern. 
So I try to live live breed this strain. Yep. And I already get a few baby in there, so I just leave them together there. Oh yeah. As I told you, sometimes I'm interested in second match. Yeah. Yeah. So and let's see if you can see this one. This is the important pair. There's some babies up oh, there. Yeah, there's a baby white dragon. So how old are these? These are pretty young. Yesterday. Oh wow. Yeah, I just picked it yesterday. Um, I tried to. What yeah. I like I about that just one is the there. pattern of the tail, the just color. A little bit. You know, they're coming in different color. Yeah. Yeah, they're and super, also, super they're nice. nice. What's challenging is oh, yeah. the So they sort of look like the minty green ones. Very similar. Yeah. And then the tail is more kind of white. Yeah. They're awesome, that green color. Yeah. So, yeah, this is another strain I have. Yeah. I thought it could be more white though. Oh, yeah? But this is what it is. Oh, these are my favorite. This is very, very rare. This is Albino Two Tone. Yeah, these yeah, are so very similar nice. to Fugo, or not Fugo, sorry, the Albino Red Tail, but they have like the two color. The true one need to be. Um, He's so nice, and there's so many babies in here. Yes, I can only 50 out there, and this is what I have left. Wow. Yeah. Is and so I, nice. Because I don't have space, I just leave them together. In yeah. Room. I look like a female ready to give birth again. Oh, yeah, at the back there? Yeah. Oh, she's massive. She's very big. <laughs> and um, I think she eat probably half of the, half of the baby. Oh, no. There's still mm -hmm. heaps. Right. Hopefully, I need to check the result of that one. How many look like the father? Um, this is albino full platinum. So it's just a pair of them? Yeah. Um, I think they still they are having a problem. I think they're a bit sick. Yeah. So I need a bit of medicine. So I just have some of the medicine in there. So I'll try not to touch it. <laughs> yeah. I don't want it to go out the tank. <laughs> And um, this is metal. Oh wow! Albino metal purple tail. Yeah. I think you probably won't be able to see the color killer. I just try to move it. Oh yeah. Yeah. So is these metal? Yeah, this is metal. You see metal skin now. Yeah. Metal pattern now. Yeah. This is the metal, and then the tail is purple. Yeah, they're so so nice. Yeah. So these guys have red eyes too. Yeah, they're albino. Oh wow. They're so nice. Let's see if I turn the light off. Can you see the color here? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah he's so, so nice. So these, I would assume, are pretty rare too. Yeah. And um, I think in Australia, they normally have like the normal version. That is um, just metal purple tail. Yep. Yeah. So look very similar to that, but I'm um, very dark purple on the tail. Yeah. Yeah, so. He's so nice. Very cool. I only have one pair left. Oh no. I import like four or five of them and you yeah. know, share to other people. And this then the these are just all fried down here? Yeah. This is the lavender pony tail. Oh, these are so nice. Lavender pony. Oh, you got heaps of them. No, this is female. Oh, those females are nice. So they're pregnant? Yes. Okay. Yeah, they're so big. Yeah, so this is the baby. They just give birth and then I just separate them from the male. And I yeah. think that they probably give me another set before. I love these cooler. ones. The males are so nice on these ones. Yeah. And then this is just called black legs. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think so, it's what I gave you. Yeah, I have a couple of these at home. So yeah, they're so cool. Easy to look after this strain. Yeah. It's still rare because not many people have it. Yeah. And I think you already see the parents outside with the big tail, a lot of detail on the body. Yeah. So beautiful. And there's more up here, isn't there? Ah, uh, yeah, there are more up here. So these are a little bit older ones. Yeah. I'll show you. This is very interesting. The company is out already. Yeah, mine are just starting to get their color. You see? Yeah. And some of them might be swallowed. Yep. Oh wow. Yeah, they're so nice. Yeah, swallow tail is a bit different. Yeah. 
Oh, there we go. Yeah, so they're sort of greenish in this light. Yes, and then it actually go gold. Look at that. Yeah, they're so nice. And when you sell them right, the swan low will be more yeah. expensive than the normal one. So what's the... How do you tell which one's which? Um, the swan low, the tail is different, you see? Yeah. And yeah. they have cut a ribbon thing. Oh, uh, yes. A little bit, the tail not going to be like normal. It's in different shape. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is swan low. Yeah, they're so nice. Yeah. Cool. Yep, yeah, those are awesome. Uh, i put them back right there. And this is my favorite at all time. These are one of my favorites, definitely. Yeah. Um, the albino koi red here. So even the females on these ones are super colorful. So is this a male and a female? Uh, yes, this is the male and female. Oh, this one's got like little. purple on him. Oops. Yeah, there's a bit of like a clear color there, with kind of metric color. Yeah. So some of these are ribbon too in the background yeah, there. And then the bracket. I try to get this one in. This is super full. I mean super red. You see? Yeah, that one is ribbon. so nice. Very beautiful. Looks like a dragon. Yeah, I call it koi butterfly. Yeah. It's like you know butterfly here. Yeah, they're so so nice. So these ones are new too? Yeah, this is new for my collection. Yeah. I just imported last import so yeah. in February. And then they're doing well. I get I collect the first batch of them already. Yep. And um I love the top angle. Good. Yeah. Yeah, they look so nice. Angle. I love this one. Yeah, especially. this one is very good um from top wheel as well. From the yeah. side wheel, they look cool as well. So they're awesome. Yeah. Is there anything in these two tubs down here? Um, this one is the baby. This is the koi. Platinum number year baby. Oh wow, there's so many. There's a lot. It's like I told you about your koi tuxedo. Yeah. We get a lot of baby. Yeah. Yeah. There's so, so I just many leave them there. there for now. And this is I want I don't want to touch this one. The first. Um, this is the full gold. Oh yeah. Luckily, I get um, another batch of them. If this one die, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> if, I could, if I cannot look after them, and then they die, I have a spare. Yeah. Look at that. They're very beautiful. Yeah. But so th I'm this one here looks almost short body. Yeah. Oh, that one. Yes. If you notice that behavior is changing, you see the one at the bottom. Yeah. They like to be alone. The way they swim is like that. Again, mm -hmm. checking. Is indicating something wrong with the water or the fish. Yeah. So they're kind of sick. So did these guys get sick from the rain? Yes, they got the rain water leaking in it. Yeah. And then uh, I think they changed the pH level very quick. And you know. Yeah. yeah. So what's going on with these guys up here? Oh, this guy they just out. And then the body, you kind of see. Yeah. So does it? Sort of like bend with age? Yes, and also, you know, like with pregnancy as well. Yeah. This always happened with the female when they're getting old. Mm -hmm. And um, some people told me that I probably didn't feed them enough calcium or whatever. Yeah. So I just need to do more research about it. Just feel sorry for them. I mean, if they're old, yeah. I guess it just but sort this of happens. one, to see that one, yeah. this is the very first one that I import. Race. One of the first yeah. that I import. These females have such nice colors. Yeah. So and do they still produce? They, they still produce, but I try not to you know, stop them from yeah. doing it because it's going to be very difficult for them to release the fry. Yep. Yeah. So that. And this is another full girl, but she's sick, but she's pregnant. But if she dies, oh, yeah. do you know what happened with the fish though? I think it's very interesting. Yeah. If they're pregnant, right? Mm-hmm. Sometimes they release the baby before they die. Oh yeah. I don't know why, but yeah, I noticed that a lot. And I think this one had a problem with the tail, so I separate her. Oh and yeah. And she's pregnant anyway, just in case I get the baby. Well, hopefully you get some babies out of hopefully, her. Hopefully, this is um, the ribbon one as well. Oh. So they're in the medicine now. Yeah. 
that's pretty much it. All right. Now. There'll be some strand that I posted and it's not on the YouTube people yep. to sell them. Well, I'll make sure yeah. to link your Instagram and everything. Yep, please. So yeah, thank you for having us. No worries. Awesome Anytime. video, awesome collection, and uh, yeah, thank you.